Hi everybody, welcome to Tinker Planet. So the baby is sleeping and I'm the only adult in the house. Perfect time to do this um, video. And for Tinker Planet's first official video, I would like to give you a tour of my craft space. I want to start with this diffuser. Every time I come down to my craft space to do some work or do some crafting or just having my me time, the first thing I do is turn this on. It has my Focus Blend, which is a mix of peppermint, orange, frankincense, and lime. It just smells so good and gives me that ambiance of being focused and determined to finish the task at hand. And as you can see, I am very, very loyal to the Young Living brand because they are 100% pure and therapeutic. This is a new addition to my craft space. I've had this for a while and I got this on clearance, I think from HSN if not QBC and I really like it. Next up, I want to talk to you about this area of my craft space. This is another craft desk which I originally used for electronic die cutting but as you can see there is a cutting mat there as well for stamping and other paper crafts. Last year when I was making face masks to give to my friends and family, I realized how great the configuration is for this work desk. This one here is from IKEA. The end rests on one of the shelves of this fixture and I bought two legs to go with and here is a rolling cart bought from Amazon. Let me show you how it works. Lots of space. I love it. You can see here my scan and cut too, which I really like because it does not require cartridges and I can just cut anything I want. Behind it is my collection of punches and they are arranged according to brand. Like these ones here are EK Success, mostly edge punches. And I have a good collection of Martha Stewart from corner punches to punch around the corner, edge punches, and I have other brands up here like Creative Memories, Fiskars, an assortment of corner punches, and other brands over there. And I have some stamping up over here. As we go up, you will see more crafting supplies. Down here, storage for a lot of my supplies. This one here is mostly different kinds of adhesive. If you are a paper crafter, you just have to have your big stash of adhesive. And here, you can see my different thread for sewing. Not really a quilter, but it's good to have when I need to do some mending. You can see here all of my bigger envelopes and other supplies. Now let's move on to my little photo station here. It's a mini photo studio. I like this one because you will be able to take nice and professional shots of your projects. In my case, my handmade cards and other small craft projects. There is a switch right here. And over to this side, you're able to control your lighting. Right now you will see both sides has the lights on if you just want this effect you can do that or if you want just this side you can do that as well so just to show you how it works let's pretend i'm going to take a picture of my handmade card i'm going to set this card right here and right here on top you will see five holes i don't know if you can see and i will set my camera right on top so you can take a nice quality picture there you go. And I can even take pictures this way, which most people do. Set it right there and take a picture right there. So you have a nice white background. Now let's move on to what's down here. There's more storage for my other supplies. Like my reinkers is right here. And here is a portable printer, which I like to use for emergency purposes and other tools and more adhesive over here. Now, let's move over to this side. This is another new addition to the Tinker Planet area. This is where I store A2 size card bases and envelopes arranged according to color. 
it's not really new, but I attached the rack to this rolling thingy, which I bought from Walmart. It's originally meant to put heavy pots for plants, but it's perfect for this fixture, and I just attached it with zip ties. I can easily move it. I can spin it. It's easier to manage, and I can store all of my A2 supplies in one spot.